Are you ready? Here I come! Hell on down! Do I have your attention yet? <laughs> Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into the show. Today I am joined by Flash Karakilu. Uh, little Damage is currently taking a nap, so that's why I'm a little more quiet. But Flash, how are you today? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Glad to hear you're doing well. Uh, so let's get sucked into this. Heck yeah. So, so you've watched a fair couple of the DGBR games, and you know we're going into playoffs. So how, uh, from your experience with the Killjoys and just with us in general, uh, how do you think we're going to fare in going into these playoffs, and how do you think we are? Um, well, I mean, I didn't see you guys' early uh, playtime, so as far as that goes, I can't really comment on how much you've grown. However, as far as your chemistry goes, it definitely shows um, that, you know, obviously you guys have been together for a little bit and have worked out on most of the kinks. I suppose that I have read through and stuff um, once we finally join a discord with you guys. So as far as playoffs go, I feel like you guys are pretty good standing. Um, your team's pretty good at like evaluating the team you're going to go up against and trying to determine weaknesses and strengths um, that will favor you guys, whether it goes in the maps or as far as the gameplay of the other team goes. Um, so as long as you guys put into practice to counter the team comps that you think you'll be going against or think that you'll be weak against. I think you should do pretty all right. Um, only other thing would be just to focus on gameplay. Um, don't let a loss map or a loss round get in your heads. Just always know that to play better than the other team, you just have to do exactly that and outplay them. It's smart, not hard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. And uh, the little one, little damage woke up, so now I can talk at a normal volume. Um, but so, so we talked a bit about that. But let's let's get into you. Um, what would you say your favorite comp is to run, whether on a team or in competitive? What's what's your go-to strat that you always want to run? Oh, um, that's kind of a tough one because there's so many fun ones. I'd have to say that. Coordinated dives are really fun um, if everybody stays on the target that one person's calling out. Um, so as far as like fun and dynamic comps, definitely that one. Um, back when Space Dragons was the meta, um, Killjoys was actually really strong at running Space Dragons. Like was a phenomenal Zarya, and you know, we know Jerry can play the hell out of a Hanzo. So. Um, so that was that was fun to play, but I definitely say like dive is definitely more dynamic. Um, I do love to run Diva, uh, Diva Ryan. It's not very common. Um, a lot of people always like Ryan Zarya or like Arisa Hog or Diva Winston, and like switching up the pairs of tanks here and there. Um, either you know definitely like helps you like to play either with your strengths or against the enemy's comp. Um, you know, for example, like if a far is giving you a lot of trouble on the ground, um, Madiba can help put pressure on top. Um, same thing with a Roadhog, even though like his gun's not really that great right now and his hook's like half broken. Um, he can put a lot of pressure actually down on a Reaper or Doomfist, which is kind of common. Even Sombra throw that hook out, um, and destroy them. Um, is really strong too. But yeah, so as far as like, uh, payload maps, I I'd love to run like Diva Ryan. And then on control points, I mean, obviously, like, GOATS is beyond OP, but uh, dynamic-wise, dive, dive's pretty fun, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Dive's awesome to run, especially when, it, when like, it's a coordinated dive and you get four or five people just diving one target and just, watch, and just watching that health bar just drop on each each target as they get called out. That's, that's always awesome and to just see how systematic the team could be with picking the enemy apart. Um, that's definitely a lot of fun. But, uh, so, so what would you do to fix Overwatch as a whole? Like, is there any problems with it? Do you think it should be improved on at all? Um, I mean, my only really big beef with console, and clearly I'm part of the problem, is smurfing. Um, uh, I can see the advantages of it, but... 
I can also see the bigger negative to it. Um, so if there was a way to like, you know, even like paywall a Smurf account, like that would be great. Like if you want to go to the lengths of like either creating a second account, um, then you can throw down like 40 bucks to be a dick. Um, Cause otherwise it just like, it floods, you know, it floods certain ELOs with, you know, either underpowered or overpowered players that are either, you know, either taking out their frustrations or just want to throw and stuff like that. And you don't really get even like a coherent chance to play Overwatch how it's supposed to be played. Like, that's one of the reasons I really love the CGL and really love what we're doing as a whole. It's because it gives us all a chance to play organized Overwatch in a manner that ranked doesn't really do. Um, as far as fixing rank goes, definitely would do roll queue. Um, LFG was definitely like a good try at that, but the only downside to that was like, you know, um, it's very relatable even to to, to us because like at the beginning of our season in Killjoys and in DGBR, like you're not a perfect team right on the get go. So the way LFG works, it like kind of puts you up against people, especially if you're six stacking that like you've never played with. And then, or play it against. So, like, if the LFG throws you against a six that has been playing with the with each other like for a long time or whatever, or even like a short time, like they're bound to have more chemistry and game sense together as a team than just six random strangers. So, shut up. So, roll queue and ranked would be really awesome because we give you the opportunity to be like, for example, like, um, you know, like I want to I want to queue as off tank flex and that's what I do and that puts me into a team of people that none of those people are going to play off tank flex except me which would solve a lot of problems because then at that time like you know like you still get throwers here and there of course like always and people that like refuse to switch off their mains or whatever but at least you'd be playing with people that are playing a hero they're efficient at and therefore would give you at least a higher probability to win than sticking you with six strangers who could be not so good at what they do, even though they claim to be so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would be... I, I fully get the, the Smurf thing as a problem. Um, I would be fine if they put, like, SMS, like, a, a text verification for every console account. Like, you have to ex uh, enter in a code that you get text uh, a text from Blizzard saying, hey, you want to play Overwatch, verify your account real quick. Um, I think that would be fine, and it would help limit uh, each each Smurf. Um, but but yeah, I, roll roll queue's cool. Yeah, um, agreed. It's it's got its own roll queue's a little a little funky with how I would make it work, but yeah, um, but it's definitely an option. Uh, <coughs> yeah, uh, but. Yeah, yeah, uh, very good, uh, well thought out. I'd, I'd like to eventually talk to you more on like what, what, how you would make a roll queue work <coughs> in terms of comps and like does it force a meta, does it not, and that kind of stuff. But uh, let's let's move on for now. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, but um, let's let's move ahead a little bit now that we've gotten a bit into your headspace. Um, let's let's dive into the announcements. So as of this video launching, we will have officially founded Hammerdown Gaming. Uh, it will consist of two teams, DGBR uh, and the Tryhearts. The Tryhearts is going to be a contender tier, um, and DGBR is staying challenger tier. Um, yes. And yeah, and uh, Flash is actually going to be captaining. The, the Tryhearts. We have a couple people moving up from DGBR to the Tryhearts. That includes Concho, uh, Nokobob, uh, Radiant Defender, and Ejext are all moving up, so that's going to be super cool for them. Uh, any any thoughts on the Indeed. Team? Uh, so, very stoked, very excited. Um, fortunately, uh, when Killjoy split up, so DGBR could form, um, you know, we try to move on to contenders and we ended up bowing out of the season just because we had issues with our new teammates and stuff like that. And that really put a bummer because we all really love 
competitive organized Overwatch. Um, so once our team broke apart, I got back in touch with Necrotic and Radiant, and we were kind of like, hey, um, is there any way, like, your team or part of your team would like to move up to contenders? And you know you had mentioned that some of your team you feel like was kind of, like, not overqualified, but definitely, like, ready to move up um, to the next tier. So from that kind of birthed the idea of, like, okay, since DGVR as a whole, you know, you guys have already gotten together and formed a bond, kind of like what we did as Killjoys, and then you guys let us kind of into your little group, adding us to your Discord, and then we kind of, like, started joining the fam and got comfortable with each other, and we've been playing a lot casually um, with our quick player rank. Um, we've all gotten to know each other, which is really nice. Um, so from that kind of came a, a nice little group of people that enjoy what they do. And we decided to we'll create kind of two teams. Um, one to stay in Challenger and one to move to Contenders. Um, and our Contenders team is called the Tryhearts, keeping it in the old uh, DGBR Reinhardt pun spirit. Um, I think it fits as well. Very excited um, to pick up some of the players from DGBR that have expressed interest in moving up to contenders. Um, looking forward to developing chemistry with them and then working on comps and strategies, I think is what I'm most excited about. Um, just ideas on how to approach certain situations and stuff. Um, I really like shot calling and I really like making weird plays that people wouldn't expect. So captaining the team would give me a chance to do that and you know, obviously, like, I really appreciate the support of everybody on the team <laughs> that kind of pushed me um, to the captain's position or recommended me um, because, I don't know, I feel like we're all, like, captain or a captain, like, I feel like that's just a title because, like, everybody, everybody's opinion counts in both of our teams. Um, nobody really has, like, a final say-so. It's not really such a dictatorship. Um, as it is a team. Like, that's what we are at the end of the day. So, um everyone's opinions on strategies, plans, goals, practice, everything comes down to uh, as a, a thought as a whole, um, which I think is really important. Uh, really cuts out the ego, really cuts out that I'm better than you. Um, we've all, even since Killjoy has been really big proponents to let everybody on the team play. Um, you know, obviously like going up to contenders is going to be a little bit harder depending on the matchup or um, like our score or how well we're doing, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, or people's strengths even, you know, like, you know, if somebody feels stronger playing on a payload than they do on like a 2CP point, like I definitely want you to play something that not only makes people feel comfortable, but something that you feel like you'll excel at and you feel like you will be not only like part of the team, but contributing to the better of the team. Um, because, you know, like, if you're playing, you know, control or whatever and you get mega upset because, like, you feel like you're not pulling your weight and then you're holding everybody down, it doesn't really feel good. It doesn't really, like, promote the team. You know, it kind of just makes you feel like you let the team down, which is super shitty feeling. Um, so I, I really love the culture that has kind of grown to be in both of our teams and now kind of uniting under the banner of Hammerdown Gaming, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, but we'll see how it goes. It's a really cool idea. Um, you know, definitely feels more of like a guild <laughs> than than anything. So, you know, we're all a bunch of nerds here, so it's definitely appreciated. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I definitely think we are kind of more of a guild, and both of our teams do really have, like, the same kind of mentality like we always want everybody to everybody yeah. to feel comfortable everybody to be uh playing what they're good what they're good at and i think one of the cool things about about us is we don't get down on each other like if someone's underperforming we don't call each other out we call ourselves out like like if we're not if, if i'm feeling like i'm not pulling our weight my weight I, I straight up say like, sorry guys, that was my bad. It won't happen again. Let's let's go in and kill it this next round. Um, and that's something that everybody on the team does. And I think it 
that goes back to like there's no I'm better than you there's no 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 big egos it's all we're trying to get better and have fun together as a team so um, I think both of our teams uh, and now the the whole hair down organization or the hammer down gaming as a whole uh, I think that's gonna have uh, a, a lot of similar thoughts for for how we pick a roster because because um, that's that's obviously something we want we want all of our all of our players to have that sort of mentality and to to be that good and that friendly and that accepting of the the ups and downs that will just happen naturally over the course of the game uh, but we'll see how it goes uh, with with picking all that and doing team management yeah it'll, it'll help out too um it's supposed to be guild management um because it'll give us kind of like a like a view of like either a like how much work it really takes to run two teams through a season and the upkeep and stuff like that because even just running a team like i mean it's almost like having a, a, its own little it's a little part-time job not not so much a part-time job but definitely like you know something that you have to like sink a little bit of time into because like you have to like plan all this out talk to a bunch of other captains and like deal with this and deal with schedules and stuff like that um so it's kind of cool to have you in that role um because like i mean like we all know we all can rely on you for stuff like that um but even more so like i said it'll, you know it'll give you practice kind of doing the management of and like obviously the captains will help you out and everything um but it's cool because like you know you always you know obviously in whatever team you want you always have a spot um regardless but having you as kind of like management coaching staff is cool just because you kind of see things from a different perspective than other people do which is really nice yeah i'm excited i'm excited for that aspect and i'm excited to to kind of be in that role and help people out and just piggybacking off of the whole like uh, management and scheduling and all that stuff it's it's always tough because like you want to be accommodating f with other teams because each team like they have just as much of a right to play as you do and like you don't so you can't be like no we have to play at this time but at the same time some weeks it's just really tough because sometimes a team schedule is like that and then you're spending a while busting your butt trying to get your team uh, able to play that that at that time and that week and it, it can just be a huge headache um, but I mean it's it's very fun it's very rewarding I'm sure both you and Sly Sloth will do well at uh, at captaining next season I'm, and I'm looking forward to helping you guys out and helping uh, train up the new recruits and all that all that jazz yeah um, absolutely yeah but uh, but but let's get on to the the next topic, shall we? So we've talked a bit about what what the team and what Overwatch means to you. But uh, what what would you like to see in addition to into in addition to this for content? For um, I think the hard to hard is a pretty good idea. Um, it'd be cool too to do like a um. Like we'd like talk to all our DPS players, you know, about like their role, like what they like about what they do, and you know, roles they never thought they'd play, or like heroes they never thought they'd have to pick up, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I think it'd be cool to hear from people who are passionate about the role that they play um, and why. I think that 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 could be like some cool content there. Um, as far as like videos and stuff i mean everybody looks good highlights uh but but yeah man i wish people could, could like listen to like all the hilarious shit we talk about during the game <laughs> besides like concentrating on the game um it's pretty fun to just just the commentary that goes on <laughs> in the party chat it's too good sometimes um but yeah no i think i think uh maybe like amassing like like do like a dps little podcast or whatever um and just you know talk to all the dps and ask them like whatever you know like what do they like best about whatever hero they play what hero they think they play best what hero you know they think they need to work on what would they like to play if they ever changed like a role what role would it be 
Um, I think I think some people would have some cool insights on that. Yeah, that would be really cool. Um, maybe I'll throw a commentary video together of all of our highlights and our comms and stuff. But I really like yeah, um, I really like that one the the idea of getting all the DPS. Yeah, and it could be something like you know like get, get to know uh, like uh, Hammerdown Gaming CGGs tanks or off tanks or flex players or support mains dps players yeah et cetera. i think it'd be red yeah we could we could do one of each one of each set yeah it lets people nerd out on their favorite heroes you know like we all have our favorites so <laughs> definitely definitely that would that would be really cool to to get the whole group together and do all that i think each of them could could uh give give good insight into all, all that goes into playing a a DPS or a tank or a healer for an actual team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, it would it would definitely be cool. Um, I'm I'm really looking forward to doing that. I'm glad you glad you threw that idea out there for us, um, and I'm I'm looking forward to those videos, and I'm, I'm sure Little Damage is looking forward to sitting here and being as loud as possible to maximize my editing. <laughs> but uh, so so tell us what. What does Overwatch mean to you as as a whole? Like what what about Overwatch makes you stick with it? Um yeah, so um I've actually probably never played a single game as much as I've ever played Overwatch. I never expected to do that. I kinda have my doubts going into Overwatch as like if I'd like it, etc. etc. Like it look cool. Um but it's definitely something I love. Something I, you know, sometimes definitely overdue. Uh, but I feel like with everything in life, like you got to take it just a little bit at a time. So like, you know, like not playing seven hours of Overwatch in a day so you don't burn out. I mean, granted, it depends. Like some of us on the team, like Ranger and Adris. So like some people maybe would have take some hardcore sessions of OW. Um, but uh, as far as I go, like I have played competitive sports all my life. Uh, in high school, I was captain of my swim team, and then in college, I played Division One rugby for the University of South Florida for three years. And then after I graduated, I kind of just like focused on my work and didn't really have the opportunity to do like something team oriented. And then for a while, actually, like sports wise, I mean, because like not a lot of my friends were like, all right, let's all go join a sports team, like locally or like do something like that. Um, so Overwatch kind of gave me like to stay competitive, you know? So that's kind of like why I take comp so seriously sometimes is just because it's a good way to like, I mean, yeah, you work on your reflexes or whatnot, but at the end of the day, like it's something that you're pushing yourself to be better at regardless of throwers and annoyances and this and that um it gives you another avenue of competition and you know like i, I wasn't big into like the esports scene or whatever and then when overwatch dropped its whole overwatch league i was like holy shit this is really cool um people doing this professionally and something i enjoy to do which is which was kind of cool too because like obviously like now when I'm swimming, I watch the Olympics and playing rugby. Like, I watch rugby games and shit like that. So now it's it's kind of come, like, full circle for me where, like, this is an avenue of competition where I could get with a group of people that I enjoy playing with and stay competitive um, in life in a matter of ways, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Um it's it's cool that you played all those all those competitive sports when you were when you were growing up and going through school, uh, and I'm glad you found Overwatch to kind of fill that void. Because yeah, once once you're out of school, sports becomes a heck of a lot harder to to just stick with. So it's cool that you you found something. But uh, as as much as I'd love to continue talking, I think we're running out of time because we got to get going soon. Yeah, I got to turn on this game. I got to eat before too. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was not expecting this to uh, to last quite this long. But I mean, I'm always happy to talk to you. So it was it was a fun time nonetheless, even That's if it was good. a little longer. Um, yeah, so, dude, it's fun. Yeah, yeah definitely so, do it again for sure. Sweet. I'm looking forward to having you on again. Um, so let's 
let's get this exit out of the way. <laughs> see you in the lobby, dude. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> um, later, man. So, this has been uh, Flash Cry Kilo and Necrotic having a heart-to-heart. -heart. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.